Welcome everybody, Jay Bullshit Corner. Welcome to another video. We're taking a quick break from working on the Jeep. We got some warm weather this week and we need to fix the ATV before winter comes back and settles in for good. We need to figure out why that axle nut came off and what can we do to prevent it. We already know the cotter pin got stripped out. We may have to do some modifications. So during the week here, between Monday, today and Friday, I'm hoping to get this all done. Put it away, get back to work on the Jeep. Now the first thing we need to do is take off the tire. And that's where the big cordless impact's gonna come in. Handy, I could just take the air one out too, but no one cares about that. don't want to reuse this rotor I don't feel like spending a hundred bucks on a new one there's an Articat wrecker in town send him a text message maybe he'll get back to me on something that's a little bit better condition than that one hmm it's almost at the point where I almost need a part squad now <laughs> So you can see right there the bearing race is still on there that is not good not only do we got to deal with a rip boot part of the bearing is still stuck on there case I want yes it is it's gonna find one's gonna be pretty close to the same size It'll probably be that one that one might work too So close. Something feels a little tight, a little wrong. Go check it out. Without a hydraulic press, that might be a bit hard to get out of there. And we're out. I just sprayed the inside down with some WD 40 before we pressed the new one in. So I found a rotor. Why not a gas? There we go. Must be almost out of gas. Anyways, I found a rotor, so I gotta get the old one off. Gotta heat it up so the Loctite becomes loose. almost empty. Spray some of this on there. Spray the front. Yeah, there we go. 
little bit of heat goes a long ways. Got one more left to take out. Can I get it out before the T27 breaks? Yes, it broke free. I asked the guy for new screws, or the screws he had with it, because you can see right here, these ones have all kind of rubbed down. And I had to heat it up. As you can see, it appears that there was red Loctite in there. This shit seizes everything up. Let's continue on this project. Getting things set up for tomorrow. Pick up that used rotor. Axle came out pretty easy. Got a rag shoved in there. Daylight starting to fade fast, and when that sun starts going down, get the chill in the air. Gonna head her inside, kick something to eat, and I'm gonna drink some Red Horse tonight. Some Filipino beer, 8%. Well, well, I'm not sure what's going on, besides maybe work on that axle. was supposed to be heading out tonight, or today I should say, and uh... Pick up that brake rotor, got a hold of that guy, 15 bucks for a used rotor. Uh, text message him today to see if it's everything's still good to pick it up. He says he's tied up at work, he's not sure. So, so I'm going to come outside, we're going to get that boot off that and uh, see if we can split that CV axle so we can change out the boot because I don't have the tool that goes over, so wish me luck. Sketchy as fuck. Alright, let's get some gloves on for this and pry it up. Yeah, it looks like we uh, got some shit in there for sure. We're gonna have to clean that out. So you can see, that's not looking so good right now. We gotta try to clean that up as best as we can. We got some rust and stuff in there. It's not good. It's not good at all. But what we need to do is take a brass punch that I got right there, tap it right against there, and see if we can pull that off. See if I can hold on to the axle nut here. Not much to grip onto. Try two jaw. Gravity will hold it straight.
Fuck, it shouldn't be that hard. What the fuck is going on? It's a goddamn little fucking ring in there. Fuck you. Fuck you. There is no breaking this thing free. That fucking settles it. It's fucking jump now. Fuck you. Fuck you. Well, science is fucking settled. That's two hundred dollars down the fucking drain. One fucking ride. I gotta order a new fucking axe and I'll fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck. Holy fuck, really? Well, after yesterday's little meltdown, I decided to go inside and relax for the rest of the evening because things did not go well. I'm not exactly sure why that CV would not pop off that sir clip, I don't fucking know, man. Usually, give them a couple of good wraps and they come right off. You know, it's like pulling the axle out of the differential. You gotta have it as straight as possible and it just comes right out and it wouldn't, it wouldn't, which would not pop. So I don't know if it was because when the axle nut was coming off, if it was um, pulling on it and, you know, maybe damage that clip and I don't fucking know. Anyways, it doesn't matter anyways. It's destroyed in a fit of fucking rage. Destroyed it. So now, new axle should be here in a couple weeks. So I can put the brakes on the other side and uh, wait for the axle to come in and then finish this job off. I did meet up with that guy for a rotor. I got the new bolts as well. $15 for a used one. This rotor is actually quite a bit worn. More worn than my other one, but... This one isn't straight anymore, so put that on the ATV. Only thing it's gonna do is wobble its way around. You guys can see this, but even that one's loosened off. I bet you as soon as I remove this, this cotter pin, okay. this is the only time I'm gonna be liberal is just coat that sucker. I don't know about you guys, but I think it's motherfucking beer time now. There's not much more we can do to this video till we get more parts. We'll deal with that another day. What do we got? You know what? Maybe I'll try this jerk face 9000. I don't even know what the hell that is. Jerk face 9000. Anyways, motherfucking beer time, everybody. Ugh. 
What a shit show that was. I got a bad temper in case you guys haven't noticed. I try to keep it under wraps most times, but sometimes I just lose my shit and things go south. Uh, but this beer is going to calm the nerves. Anyways, I'm going to call it a night. I think I did enough in this video. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I think I'm going to take a little break and uh, go on a road trip with Aubrey this weekend. Just been going hard, working, coming home, trying to do this kind of crap. I think I need an adventure to calm the nerves. See you guys later.